Welcome to the e-tron experience and there is the ID3 It is time for some fast charging Thirty-eight percent. I drove for around sixty kilometers. It's about five degrees outside, very foggy. Some one hundred kilometer per hour on the highway, some fifty kilometers per hour in the city. I wouldn't say that the battery got very hot from what I did. So, with many vehicles, that would lead to a pretty bad charging session. We're also not nearly empty. But this is the e-tron 55. What will happen? It starts at 96, which is definitely like not that much, you know? So for the e-tron, it does mean that the battery perhaps is really still cold. But also people are saying that this charging station isn't the fastest that Fastnet has, which is interesting. I spoke to a Jaguar owner. He was using this charger last week and he told me that only when it was quiet, he could get good charging speeds. Well, it is quiet. And the ID3 is fully charged up already. It's been here for an hour. So let's see what happens to the e-tron 55. Will the charging go up or is a cold battery, even for the e-tron, a bit of an issue? So the e-tron with a cold battery, it is still going up. We're now at 117 kilowatts after six minutes. So yeah, I'm guessing that's because the charging process is heating up the battery. So that's why it slowly gets better. Wondering what will be the average of the session because we know that it will drop above 80%. So it might hit 130, I don't know makes you wonder let's see at the quiet fastnet station Tafelbergweg in Amsterdam So here we are, nine minutes of charging and it's now at 129 kilowatts and still going up. So yeah, the e-tron is proving to be a charging monster indeed. This charging curve is very interesting. And yeah, I drove 60 kilometers before plugging it in but 60 kilometers in the freezing fog without speeding up above 100 kilometers per hour. I can promise you that it's not gonna be a warm battery. So it's interesting that it still gets to 130 kilowatts within 10 minutes.
12 minutes of charging, 22 kilowatt hours charged. Sounds like a coffee break to me. Not a bad score, I would say. On the other hand, uh, this is not enough yet to drive 100 kilometers in the cold. So in this weather, you actually need 15 minutes of charging if you drive slowly and then uh, you can do another 100 kilometers. So I'm wondering if it could be the tires, but they don't look like they need air. I will check though, because inside the car I cannot find information about them. Weirdly enough, maybe I'm not looking in the right spot. Meanwhile, 13 minutes of charging, 140 kilowatts, 141 even. Impressive. Almost 16 minutes, 73%. 141 kilowatts 31 down in 15 minutes I like it it's pretty cold but it's charging up nicely Seventy minutes done 146 kilowatts and it seems to still go up but that that just cannot stay like this but it's impressive really impressive nearly 80 percent and close to 150 kilowatts in the coal and the battery well it definitely heated up during this process but not from driving here, 148 kilowatts. And throttling, 130 and going down, the 80% mark is the start of a huge throttle in speed. Meanwhile, 84% still just below 100 kilowatt charging speed. Meanwhile, at 95%, the speed is still nearly 70 kilowatts. And you might think, why am I doing this? Well, I'm asking myself the same question. The thing is though, Audi gave me the e-tron Thank you so much. They only forgot one thing. There is no AC charging cable in the vehicle. I checked everywhere now, popped the hood, found the Shuko charging cable. So that will save me in France, but that I cannot charge in the village or when at a restaurant where there's only type two, which is easy to find in France. Ouch. Saturday night now, where am I gonna find a charging cable? Sixty kilowatt charging speed at ninety-seven percent. I am amazed. I have to say, ninety-eight percent now. You can really charge fully at a fast charger with the e-tron. Just now it dropped to 50 kilowatts, then went up to 52. Now it dropped to 45, 99%. The e-tron, the charging monster is right here.
really curious how this session will end. The speed is so high for the percentage of the battery. And boom. It's gone. It's done. Fully charged within 33 minutes. And it wasn't even at temperature when I arrived. Now the details of these vehicles are nice because not only did I change the settings that the vehicle actually unlocks the charging cable after the charge. You can change that in the settings. Normally the cable stays locked. You can tell the DC cable to unlock when the charge is done. And then the lid closes by itself. Now that is the luxury we need. See you later.